Hello. How are you guys tonight or today, depending on what time you're calling in or where you're calling in from? Hey, it's John Benson. I'm here with Leanne as well. Hello, Leanne. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine, John. Can awesome. you hear me? I can hear you. So it looks like we're, we've got people piling on as usual. So we're going to give you a few minutes to pile on and come on in and say where you're from. Say hello. Say good evening, good morning, wherever you're at, whatever time zone you happen to be in. And hopefully that you're excited and thrilled for tonight's training. We're going to go over the offer, the offer, the grand offer. So we will go into the six steps of that and we will answer questions about how to actually close an offer because you can write all the great copy in the world, but if you don't get to the close, you know, it's, it's, it's a lost game. So we want to make sure we get that nailed. So if you can just say hello, say where you're calling in from. I know we have that infamous 30 second play. So we'll just wait till people start saying hello. Make sure I can be seen and heard. Okay. And hello. Oh, cool. From Huntsville. Awesome. Okay. Now I know that we have more than one person on the line. So <laughs> we're, gonna, we're just going to hope that, that Anne is not the only human being out of hundreds and hundreds that we have customers. Well, we have thousands of customers. But, uh, hey, David Baxter. Hey, New York. Cool. Good to see you from Georgia. Russ, Dr. J, Marley. Okay. You guys are all calling in now. Awesome. Okay. Can, probably going to get too many here to keep up with, but that's cool. Awesome. Thank you guys for attending again. We're having more and more people come on. Uh, these things usually start a couple of minutes late, just to let as many people come on as we possibly can. And we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen, and here we go into that infamous oblivion that is um, that. And so there you go. That, that made no sense at all. But <laughs> hopefully now you are seeing, tell me if you are seeing my screen. Are you seeing my screen? Leanne? We are. 3X right. Video Sales Letter Toolbox. I zoomed way yeah, up. Clear. Select a different project just for this particular segment. So I go to this project. Um, so I just, just in case you guys probably know this, but you can load, uh, ultimately you can load as many VSLs as you want uh, just by going up here. So that's the deal. Awesome. Okay. So tonight, grand the grand offer, step five. Now, there are six sections of the grand offer. You've got the product the price, the call to action, pain, pleasure, actions, results, and what I call the Samurai Q&A. Now, in case you're tempted to skip section six, may I give you this cool little stat? It has been told to me by many people, and I've tested this for myself, that roughly 75% of your sales come in Q&A. So that's pretty staggering. So that means about 25% of the people who buy your product will buy it when the button drops, whenever that is. Usually after the first price is what I like to do. Whenever you say, here's the price and look below this video now. So roughly 25% of who are going to buy your product, buy there. The other 75% watch the rest of your video sales letter all the way through the Q&A. And it's during that Q&A that you're going to get, a, uh, that you should just consider that Q&A as uh, just as long as it takes. So the reason why inside Accelerator, I recommend that you keep the Q&A to, you know, roughly, you know, five or 10 questions, but I have a unique style of writing the questions. We'll go over those tonight. They're, they're fun. And you can get carried away. I have gotten carried away. I, I will admit I've gotten carried away. <laughs> with copy that I had to go back and go, ah, I don't quite want to say that, but it was just so clever and fun and cool. I decided to, yeah, I got carried away. So it's easy to do that inside Samurai Q&A, which is not your typical, how fast will it happen for me? When will I expect to see results? Yeah, is there a guarantee? All those questions are covered. But anyway, there's the other element to it. If you haven't done the training on this yet, you, you'll get a lot out of this tonight. But my new stance on this is go as long as you possibly can. So I'm going to give you one more thing before we dive into the, tonight's teaching. On a paid webinar, think think of a Q&A as the end of a paid webinar, and you're just taking questions from the audience. Now, the only difference is you're asking the questions, exactly the questions you want to ask, as opposed to a webinar when people are asking questions, if, especially if it's live on audio, that you may not want to answer or, you know, or that you don't have an answer for or whatever. Um, this is the questions that you want to ask. They should be the questions that your, your customers really want to know the answers to. They should overcome objections, but you can also phrase these questions in very powerful ways, as you'll soon find out. My stance on webinars, after talking to several people, is to go as long as it takes. And I have a friend of mine that does webinars, and he will go for four or five hours. 
and the webinar is over at the hour mark. The the end of it's all Q and A, and he'll just keep going. And his 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 you know his his idea is pretty cool. He keeps going until his uh, support team says there are no more sales coming in. So sometimes it's three or four hours. And I, I totally understand that because some people just, you know, they'll stick around for hours listening to you talk about something that you're passionate about, answering their questions. And of course, you're just, you're giving them tons of information too. And eventually there comes a need where it comes a time where they're going, man, this guy is so over delivering. I'm just, I feel I'm, I'm obliged by this now. I feel like it's giving me so much. This is the least I can do. So that's his theory and it works. So that kind of plays into Samurai Q&A. Now, the one downfall that you'll have with this, and I know I'm covering step six first, but I'm not getting into the details. I'm just opening a major loop. So now you have to watch all of the other five steps before you get to the answer. But, ha, 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 I practice what I preach. Um, but one thing about VSLs that, that webinars do not have against them is VSLs are bandwidth driven, meaning if you have you know, a, a VSL that's a gigabyte in size, no one's gonna buy anything because no one can download it fast enough, right? So you just have to be a little mindful of time and space. So. In that being said, my original teaching of never use YouTube was written back you know, five years ago when YouTube just was no way, form or fashion, a good way to host a video sales letter. Now it's my preferred source for video sales letters is YouTube. Some of the top video sales in the world are being hosted on YouTube and instead of paying 20, 30, 50 grand a month to, got, to uh, hosting companies like you know Wistia or whoever, these guys are paying zero a month to YouTube. And they're getting all the viral action from YouTube too. It's a great way to host now that YouTube allows you to strip away all the controls except for the logo. So that's where you'd host that. So you have to kind of bear that in mind timing wise. But you could go, you know, a YouTube videos load and they, they, they have that. YouTube's really cool because it kind of loads as you go. So as long as your first, you know, your first 20 minutes or so is really tightly compressed, you can go pretty long. You can get like a three hour long VSL if you want to. So that's just a little uh, incentive to do it, do your Q and A and really make it work. Okay. So like I said last week, we're not, we can't go over every single step of the product. Obviously I'm going to briefly cover them, but can't go into them in detail. Um, but I'm going to give you what I'm thinking and what you should be thinking as you go through this first step. Now this is the step where you introduce your product or your service. If it's a service, just change that to the service. Okay. And your overview is simply the section where you go, um, <clears throat> excuse me, overview is, it basically is one of the statements that you would think of it in a commercial. You know, it's like I finally compiled something. I finally compiled a book together that eliminates the need for any calorie counting at all, and make sure that you get the favorite food you want, and it'll get you to lose your weight, lose what you want in the fastest time possible. It's just a brief overview. That's all it is. And also, when it says formal introduction, this is in case you did not already introduce yourself formally. What I mean by formally is I like the modest introduction instead where you just say, hey, my name's John, and I wasn't always a super fit guy. In fact, I used to be this, that, and the other. Now, that's an in, that's a modest or an informal introduction. I'm not saying my full name. I'm not saying any of my credentials. But here is where if you didn't give your credentials earlier, you would say, you know, um, your formal introduction, you would actually start this slide with, hi, my name is, is Bob Jones. Uh, I have a master's degree from Harvard University in the field that you're talking about. Uh, I've written six best-selling books. And today I want to introduce you to the fastest way I've ever found to earn money, uh, to keep more money in your investment account and never lose it or whatever. I'm just making this up. But that's the overview of what your product does. The product in USP is simply what it sounds like. It's introducing name of product and then your USP. If you don't have a USP, Come up here, getting started, <laughs> go to this right here, the toolbox, and excuse me, the wrong one, no pet assignments, and go to the USP factory and do your USP because you're going to need it. <laughs> it's coming to come in handy right here, right there, your USP. So USP is unique selling proposition or position. Some people use uh, that is what makes your product unique. It's one sentence. It's an elevator pitch. It's literally one sentence that makes your product unique. It tells what it does and why it does it in a unique way. Uh, works even if this one's very important. Okay, if of all the things you don't want to cut, it's this one. Think of every single obstacle, every single reason someone wouldn't buy your product. Okay, of all the reasons, like if they said, oh, I've heard, I've tried that before and it didn't work because blank. What if, what goes in the blank? Why didn't it work? Now, you can even back up further and you can say, I tried to lose weight before. Okay, go back to your meta topic, okay? I tried to save money before. I tried to date before. I tried to train my dog before. So it doesn't have to be, I tried this specific way of weight loss. It can be, I tried losing weight before and here's why it didn't work. 
this is what you want to say. This works even if, and of course you want to be honest, even if you're hypothyroid and your thyroid, your metabolism is sluggish. If you're over the age of 40 and, and you've lost, you know, your body's really slowed down in its ability to burn fat. Uh, if you hate counting calories, it go down the line, every single thing that people say, I don't want to do this and it didn't work because X. And then you conclude that whole string of slides. There's just one bit of copy on each slide. So you keep the hypnosis going. And it ends, by the way, when I say hypnosis, it's not literal hypnosis, it's just a hypnotic feeling. And then you end that slide, or if you think you've tried everything, that's how you end that whole section. Now, the next one is what it isn't. What it isn't. What it isn't is more or less a way for you to say, my competition sucks. Or the, the, the ideas that other people have put forward before, this isn't it. But it's also a way, and I love this one in particular, to alienate people that you don't want to buy your product. Now, you might think, well, I want everyone to buy my product, but that's not true. For example, I don't want people to buy a accelerator that are looking for uh, a, a, a tool called Script Doll, for example. It's like a $50 tool that, you know, it, it's basically you answer 10 questions and it spits out a, you know, a really terrible sales script. This is not accelerator. I don't think I have to tell you that, but it's definitely not a billion dollar copy machine like this is not even close to it. So if I will, in my what it isn't, I said, now listen, just so you're in the right place, I want to make sure if I, if I was selling Accelerator, Accelerator is not some 30 minute push a button and out comes a crappy sales script kind of thing. It's not even close to that. It's not some pie in the sky, blah, blah, blah. I'll just alienate people that I know I don't want as customers, you know? And then I'll tell, I'll say what it isn't. I'll say what it is, is the most powerful blank in the world. That's how I end that. So what it isn't could also be if it was a if it was a um, a diet. Let's say it was a dating book, and let's say that your philosophy on dating was um, I don't want to be I don't want to lie to women. I'm, I'm going to assume guys to girls here. I don't want to lie to women, and I don't want to manipulate women. So you could say, look, I want to tell you this is not some guide to manipulation. This is not some guide to to teach you how to deceive a woman into going out with you. What this is is blank. So you just tell them exactly what it isn't. And the reason why people want to hear that. Again, it goes back to that negative positive aspect of your brain, the little ratio of your brain, where it's 75, 25, negative to positive, fear to pleasure. That's what you want to hit. And so it isn't this, it isn't all this negative stuff, it's this positive thing. Hero study and results of hero study is one of my favorite parts of this whole section, and it is optional, and it should only be used if you've really done it. Okay. The hero study is basically the idea of saying, uh, look, this is not my own area. Of, I didn't, I, and this works really well, by the way, if you're not an expert. Now, for Accelerator, I, I, I used a hero study, actually, because it's true. But I was my own hero. So unfortunately, because there wasn't anybody else at the time. So I can't use it in the way I'd like to use it in other letters. But for my nutrition stuff, for the weight loss stuff, I said, listen, you know, I'm not, you know, I don't have a PhD in weight loss. <laughs> Who does, right? I'm not a doctor. But what I did instead is I went out and analyzed 52 people of all age ranges, this is what I did for Fit Over 40, and asked them, how did you lose the weight and keep it off? These are heroes of weight loss over 40. So, and I analyzed thousands of other people's testimonies from their emails, and I just dug into what made them tick, and I uncovered the 10 or 20 or five or however many th things they all had in common, and put it all into this book. That's the hero study. In other words, I went out and just looked at the, you know, I did all the homework for you. I did all the hard work for you. Now, you can go out and research this all yourself if you have access to it, but chances are you don't. I've already done it for you. And they all have a few things in common. I've put those few things in common into the system called blank. That's the hero study. The result of the hero study is like, and ever since I've done that, ever since the, these heroes have got together and we, you put the, together this super plan, uh, this is the results. And basically, it's just testimonials. That's all that is. Now, out of the club is optional as well. You don't have to do that. Again, this is if you didn't do the what isn't what it isn't and you want to kick, kick people out. This is where you'll say, I'm going to tell you once again, I'm going to tell you once again, if you're looking for an easy way to lose weight that's going to lose 20 pounds overnight, or if you're wanting some magical pill that will automatically make the fat disappear from your thighs, you really should leave this website right now because this just isn't for you. I said, what am I doing? I'm actually telling them this isn't for you because I want the response to be, wait, oh, no, it's for me. What's wrong with me? Uh, I, I'm good enough, right? <laughs> you kind of want people to prove to themselves that, that they're, they're good enough. And then if you're dealing with a reasonable person, which you know, 85% of the people who watch this will be reasonable, they know that it's not a pill that will instantaneously give them money or something. You're just stating stuff so that you present yourself as an ethical human being, that you're not giving them some magical pie in the sky answer, 
But in the very next section, you're gonna say, that being said, this is, and this only is, if it's true, this is the easiest or the fastest or the most convenient or the, or the, or the most successful way to do blank that's ever been devised. And I guarantee that, and I'll tell you about the guarantee in just a moment. So qualify remaining, again, you can skip this part if you've already done the out of the club. These are put in here just in case you decide to skip one. I wanna make sure that you do qualify the remaining. So if you look at some of the copy of the qualify the remaining, you'll get what I'm talking about. Like, so if you want to do blank, you can do that. Um, that's basically just basically saying that you, you want to go in there and say, so if you want to um, lose weight in an efficient way, do this, do this, do this, and this is for you. So it's kind of like the positive version of out of the club. So and all you can do here, all you want to do here is list off all the things that the, your, your customer will want to do. So if you want to, if it, let's say it was a um, um, make money online product. So if you want to earn more money online this month than you've earned all year, if you want to finally put an end to the blah, 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 and on down the line, it's just benefit, 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 and just use the benefit formula to do it. Then this, then you're in the right place. Testimonials are obvious, they're testimonials. I'll give you a really cool hint on testimonials. I much prefer screenshots. Uh, of, of especially Facebook because people just trust it inherently more than just a quote with a picture. Now, if you don't have that, just use a quote with a picture. You're just kind of stuck with it. Uh, another thing is you, I would avoid video testimonials unless your BSL is already kind of long and it's expensive. So then you can use very brief video testimonials, but people will get bored really quickly listening to a video testimonial more so than you would think is possible. So if you use videos, Keep them to like 10 or 15 seconds. Like just get someone saying, like here's just a rapid fire video shot of just people 10 seconds or less telling you what they think of this. They think of Celerator. And one guy goes, seriously, it's the easiest product I've ever used and it, it made me a lot of money. Next person. And just that fast. Those kind of testimonials work really, really well. But don't go into these. I've seen testimonials where they're like five minutes long and you're like, what on earth are you thinking, right? So what's in the product is pretty simple. <laughs> It's the simplest one in the whole lot. It's what's in your product. Inside, you'll discover, you know, and here's where you want to say if you've got an ebook. You know, on page seven, you'll learn a wonderful new way of, uh, of a, a wonderful new technique that allows you to never count calories again and actually encourages you to eat your favorite junk food at least twice a week. Okay, on page 17, you will discover the bling bling bling, and, and that's all it is. So you're breaking it down in a dimensionalized way. You're telling them on what page they're going to discover something. And use the copy that I've written in here. It'll basically just walk you right through it. Uh, this is where you can do some really clever bullet points. You know, like on page 19, you, you'll, you'll find the fat, you'll discover my fastest way to trim an inch off your waistline. Uh, and, and, you know, it's been used by Hollywood celebrities like this, that, and the other. You know, if it, it, again, if that's true, I would say that. But that's what you want to do for inside the product. If it's a service, what's in the service is just what you would come with the service. So, you know, inside the, you know, here's what you'll experience when you, when you take on the blank, 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 whatever it may be, you know, I'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do that. That's all it is to it. All there is to it. Emphasize X is always a cool, play. I had somebody just the other day posting copy policy. I don't understand emphasize X. So I want to walk through this to a little bit specific. You know, as you probably know by now, Accelerator is the most efficient way to write copy on the market today. It allows you to do blank and this will result in blank. That's all those first three sides are very simple. So. Here's what I mean. So the results come in a timely fashion too. Now I want to emphasize something really, really specific here, right here. Okay. I just want to take out one of their goals, one of their specific goals and really narrow it down. Okay. It allows you to do blank and specifically it allows you to melt inches off your belly fat, especially around the navel region. That's its superpower. These are just ways I would say this now. And so the end result is blank, and that's all there is to that. So emphasize X is like just take one thing that you know your customers want more than anything and say, and it's really good at this. So I'll give you an example of how you find that out. Uh, you send out, go through, my, go through week one training, <laughs> find out what your customer's most pressing concern is, and if your product or service meets that concern, then you can say it does this, 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 and here's it's really the superpower. Here's it's superpower. It also does this. And in my case, it would say it also gets rid of stubborn thigh fat. You know that thigh fat and cellulite that we all hate? And guys, you know those love handles? Those two places are just super, super, you know, this is the, probably the best program I've ever developed to really attack those areas. Now, that's just an example. I'm just giving you guys examples. But that's what it means by emphasize X. Pull out the thing that they want the most and make sure that you emphasize it, assuming your product or service does it, right? The first price tease is say, is, 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 this is optional. 
I'm going to keep telling you what's optional, what isn't. But what's optional is if you're <laughs> if you're brave enough to say the so and so plan has a retail price of X. Now let me go into that. You want to say, you know, just for watching today, you're not going to pay X. I'll tell you why in just a moment. That's that. That's a tease. That's all it is. It's two slides. But the reason I say if you're brave enough is you actually need to put your product for sale on your website for whatever price you're saying it really is, or you ha should have sold it in the past for that much money. So for example, for every other day, day diet, I could say, look, every other day diet has retailed for years for $47. True statement, absolutely true statement. And if I, when I pull it back on the market, I'll say, but listen, you're not gonna pay that today and I'll tell you why in a few minutes. So all you're doing is you're, you're anchoring a price to them. Celerator sold for $39.97, it has but you're not going to pay that today. And I'll tell you why in a few minutes. That's really all there is to it. But you have to be willing to either sold it or sell it currently. And I'm a big fan of selling it currently, by the way. And I'm a huge fan of, of Jack Warren's deadline funnel uh, to use it to sell currently. In other words, if you're doing like a, a VSL or a webinar or any sort of like a, like a, a video-based event, you can use deadline funnels to say, you know, you've got 72 hours to claim this. And after 72 hours, it goes from the sales page to the, the sell price page to the real price page. Pretty cool. And I really like that. That's exactly what we did for Celerator. I mean, when people missed the offer, they missed the offer. It went right back to its normal price. So three more benefits is just like, hey, and let me remind you of three things people are absolutely raving about when it comes to blank. Benefit, benefit, benefit. That's it. You know, they love the fact that it's the easiest diet plan they've ever gone on. I mean, so simple. They said that either, they don't even have to write anything down. You know, so this is where you want to just talk in like, you know, human language. You know, no need to write spectacular copy here. You know, another thing is it's so, it's so fast. You know, I'm in and out in the door in just a few minutes. I can make these meals literally in 30 minutes or less a day and I don't even cook well. <laughs> okay, so pretty, pretty simple stuff here. The three more benefits. Okay, we're into step two already and that's the price. I told you I wasn't gonna go through each one of these and actually I could go through a lot more detail on each one, but I am gonna go through, as you can tell, <laughs> I went through every one of those. Uh, these get these get shorter, so, but I, th I think it's very important to tell you which, which are optional and which are not. So this one literally says optional faux price. Okay, an optional faux price would be, now I have to go back in, and if you w watch the videos, it explains all this, if you use this, don't use this. The optional faux price is if you wanna state a price that is the wrong price. So let's say that I said back at when I said every other day diet sells for 47, normally retails for $47, but you're not going to pay that. If I wanted to do an optional faux price, what I would say is, okay, so now you know it used to retail for $47. I'm going to give it to you for $37 today. And that includes the following bonuses. Now this one takes some kahunas because if it's really $27, which is what's going to be right down here or, or $19, you see what I'm saying? You might turn people off at that $37 mark. So it's worth a test. Most people who test this find that their conversions increase because again, people, <laughs> people want a bargain. So you can say this in whatever way that you want to, that that's ethical. Say, hey, so, so today, I, in this way I say it, today I feel absolutely comfortable selling every other day diet to you for a discounted price of $37. And that's true. I feel absolutely comfortable doing that. I didn't say that I was going to do that. I said I felt absolutely comfortable doing that. So again, of ethical persuasion, I think it's very cool to do this. It's up to you. Could be too gray, you decide. Uh, bonuses are just that. But let me go into a lecture about bonuses, a very short one, I promise. Let me take a step here. And I apologize in advance for talking so fast, but there's a lot to get through tonight. I wanna make sure that you guys get as much of this as you can. So bonuses, we've, we've talked about this in webinars, I've talked about this for years. What constitutes a bonus? constitute a bonus. Uh, I think you need two to three bonuses to make an offer compelling. You don't need 10, you know, it can get really laborious if you have that. But your bonuses need to follow a very simple formula. If your bonuses could be something that could compete or su surpass your product, don't put them in there, <coughs> okay? So what I mean by that is, let's say the Every Other Day Diet, my diet book comes with the Every Other Day Diet Deluxe. Well, why didn't I just sell that? That 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 you know that it's actually better, right? Or the every other day diet also comes with um, the freedom to eat whatever you want diet. Well, that would compete with the every other day diet. So what you want is the things that anyone is going to want to use, and this is the catch. Ready? Once they succeed at whatever it is your product delivers, and this is where I think that I, I love this bonus strategy. So let's go with 
every let's go with every other day diet. I'll go with my diet offer. And this isn't the real bonuses. I'm literally making these up just to prove a point. It's kind of cool to think through this. So what would might somebody need after they lost a bunch of weight? And that's what I make a bonus on. So for example, so and, and this looks so awesome because now the bonuses literally sell the product and it's like a testimonial for the product. So the way I would phrase this is like, look, this comes with three value added bonuses and you're gonna need every one of them after you lose all this weight. Now, the first bonus is, you know, uh, uh, it's like 17 clever ways to retailer your clothes. Okay, you're, I don't want you to throw away hundreds, maybe thousands of dollars of clothes. That's what's gonna happen unless you have this bonus. But uh, this is a really clever way to reuse those clothes so that you don't have to spend hardly any money, you know, because you're gonna lose so much weight. <laughs> you get the idea? So this is what is so powerful about bonuses. If you use them right, they can be one of your strongest, strongest selling points, not because there's a free stuff that's added on top of it, but because it assumes that they're going to succeed. And that assumption is massive. Now you'll go to restate the faux price. Like again, if I did $37 and said, okay, so remember every other day diet, I'm comfortable giving you this, uh, this, this, this kind of price of $37 today. And I just go right to the next session. And let me tell you what's going to happen if you don't take me up on this. You've already seen that your weight loss is affecting your, your how, how well you parent, you're affecting your health, affecting this, affecting that. We don't want that to continue on. All I'm doing is reliving their, the, the, reliving the worst parts of the nightmare story over again, not my own, but of theirs. I'm saying like, if you don't do this, here's what's going to happen. That's all cost of losses. And go to that section because I've got a lot of good copy and they're pre already pre-planted for you. So when you get to the reason for the discount, this is huge. So when I tell you that every other day diet is I can comfortable selling it for $37, I think I need to give you a reason for that discount and a reason for the even greater discount I'm about to reveal. You see why that's so powerful? Wow, I'm getting a double discount. But you need to give them a reason why. And inside this, this, this tutorial right here, I tell you some of my favorite reasons why. One of the reasons why I'll just briefly go over with you, I like to do is I like to say, look, I've established a mission for myself. I wanna help a million people lose a million pounds or whatever, it could be something like that. Or I, I have a goal to end um, to end adult obesity in, in my lifetime. Or I just, you know, it could be anything. It, it, just give them a compelling reason why you're wanting to discount the price. Another reason might be, <coughs> again, I just love brutal honesty. You know, I sold the book for $47 and I did really well with it. I made a lot of money and then I decided, you know what? It's not so much about the money for me anymore. I want to get this in as many hands, of, in the hands of many people as I, as I want. And so I decided to, I would just discount the price and give you the same thing that other people, that literally tens of thousands paid $47 for. That's the absolute truth. But do you see how that's so much better than saying, okay, you won't pay $37 a day, but you will pay this. Well, why? Why are you discounting it? And if you can't think of anything else, there is the obligatory, it's now obligatory because I see it everywhere. Okay, uh, why am I giving you a discount? Look, you've watched this entire video. You've proven to me how serious you are about blank, whatever blank is. And I like to reward people who are serious. Now that copies right out of Accelerator and it's completely functional. It completely works. But if you do want to establish like a, I have, I, I just, I have a mantra, I have a mission, um, you know, or what I just said, you know, I sold it for this and now I just feel better about selling it for that, you know, or you could, or the other thing you could do is say, look, the reason for the discount, and this is where deadline funnels comes in really handy. The reason for the discount, if you look below this video, you're gonna see a timer. It's like, I'm willing to give you a, pri a, bargain, a bargain price for taking action right now while it's still hot. After that, there is no discount. So that's, that's, that's also excellent. So then it gets to the price drop down, which you've seen a thousand times. So you're not gonna pay $47 for every other day. You're not gonna pay 37. You're not even gonna pay 27. Price reveal. Look below this video now today, it's only, only $17 or whatever it may be. And that's pretty straightforward. Just follow this. This is just this boilerplate. Don't try to reinvent the wheel here. Triple guarantee. <coughs> it's just, it's not what you think it is. It is not triple money back. It is three ways that you guarantee your product. So I've expanded this since then. I'm going to give you some new stuff here. I, I created for another offer and it's gotten around now. I call it a guarantee checklist. I said, I'm going to guarantee this product with a guarantee you've never seen before. I'm literally going to let you prove to yourself that it works. On written on a written sheet of paper, you're going to get with this product my five step, you know, uh, prove it to yourself guarantee. And you have to check off each of these boxes in the next 30 days. And if one of them remains unchecked, I'll give you your money back. It's a bold guarantee, but trust me, uh, use it. I mean, people more people will buy than they'll, they'll refund. And think of five things that you think that they can achieve in 30 days or 60 days or however long your guarantee is, and they check that off. 
<coughs> so that's the triple guarantee expanded version. So that's why you join me on these calls because they give you the expanded version. Now we're into the call to action. Okay, so overview and CD is like, like you get all of this, the book, the bonuses and everything for this one low price of blank. L click the button below right now. That's all that this is. That's all that this is. Testimonials is where you want to put more testimonials immediately after that call to action. When you say click the button below, immediately after that, when you reveal the price and just do the overview, Susan said this, Jeff said this, David said this, testimonials. Testimonials are almost impossible to overdo. Go for as many as you can. Just keep the pace. Okay. Now, this was a really cool idea uh, that a friend of mine gave me. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Jeff, <coughs> excuse me, Jeff from Beyond Diet. And uh, um, he gave this to me. They, they started including what they call a super bonus. And so we actually put it into the, into the accelerator system. Uh, and that is saving your best bonus for last. So let's say that you had a bonus that's worth 97 bucks. It, 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 let's say it really is. It's, you might want to think, I'm going to put that as the very first bonus. Wow, this first bonus is going to blow you away. It's worth 97 bucks. His theory is like, give them a $7 bonus, a $17 bonus, a $37 bonus, and then save your $97 bonus for last. I'm going to include you in a lifetime membership in the blank. That's a super bonus. So right when you see the CTA, you get all the testimonials. This is the highest part of leverage for 25% of the audience. And you want to get them to click a button and go, listen, if you click the button right now, I'll give you the super bonus. Now, notice the language I used. If you click the button right now, as soon as I get through with this sentence, <laughs> you can say, if you click the button within the next 30 seconds. Now, this is really clever. And again, I, this, is, this is completely true. If they click the button within the next 30 seconds, they will get that super bonus. They will. If they click it within the next 30 minutes, they'll get it too. I didn't say they wouldn't. <laughs> So again, it's just how I'm phrasing things, okay? If you click the button within the next 30 seconds or within the next couple of minutes, you could say within the next three minutes <coughs> or before this video comes to an end, you know, whatever you want to say, I'm going to include the super bonus. And if you do the before the video comes to an end, which is the most straightforward, honest way of doing it, it's not dishonest to say if you click it within 30 seconds, it's kind of clever in my opinion. But if you wanted to be way over the top and say, I'm just going to be completely not even remotely, I'm not even going to bother with any kind of gray. I'm going to go straight black and white. Then you can say, if you, if, you, if you buy before this video ends, before you leave this page, I'll include the super bonus. And all that, all that would do is you would set a cookie. And when they come back to watch the video sales letter again, you have the same VSL minus the super bonus. That's all there is to it. Takes a little bit more coding, but I've done it before and that does work. So inclusion is just look. It's just <coughs> excuse me. It's just the part of the uh, the letter where you want to tell people you want to join this club. This is the club of the most successful dieters, weight loss, whatever dog trainers, marketers in the world. You know, people from all walks of life, men, women, blah blah blah. Every people are raving about this. You want to be a part of this group. That's inclusion. A CTA is just look below this video now, and the checkout process is it's optional, but I really love it. Uh, watch the tutorial on it because I go into more detail, but the checkout process is just like where you get people super comfortable with what they're going to see the moment they click that button. So in ClickBank, this really helps because in, in ClickBank, you go to a ClickBank checkout page and you lose a lot of people. So 85% abandonment rate is really high. So if you'll do this, you'll reduce your abandonment rate. You'll make more money, just period, right off the bat. Just do the checkout process, which is all you're doing. You say, okay, the moment you click this button right here and you just do like a screen capture, you're going to see this page right here. And you just screen capture the, the checkout page. It's going to look like this. You'll see this right here. Put your credit card information right here. Click this buy, buy this, this button and that's all there is to it. That's all the checkout process is. But walking them through it visually and they see it on the next page is really great. Just make sure that if you happen to change your checkout page for any reason that you update the section in your VSL. So that's call to action. Pain and pleasure is pretty simple. Okay, now we're into NLP. We're going to go into reminding them, telling them about their responsibility, and reinforcing what they already know. So, reminder is just this. Remember. Go through these slides. Remember, you've been struggling with goal. You've been struggling with your weight loss for far too long. And the pain of continuing take, without taking action will only lead to more despair, more frustration. <laughs> so, that's all it is. Just reminding them of what they already know. Responsibility. Very simple. You know, now that you know this, you know, you've been lied to, but now it's your responsibility. <laughs> We're going right back into this. You know, it's you've got to do something about this, you know, and just read this copy here because it's really, really good. Um, I love this one. Here's the brutal truth. Your weight gain isn't your fault, at least not entirely, but it is your responsibility. 
So if you click that, that's what it would come up in the next slide. So that's pretty cool. It is your responsibility. Finally, to reinforce. And all this is, is you're going to reinforce your guarantee. You're going to say, look, uh, let me just tell you, it's not just users like Bob, Sally, Jane, blah, 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 that, that have seen success with fill in the blank. It's experts like Dr. So-and-so, like marketing with so-and-so, like so-and-so. So save your expert results and testimonials for here versus at the very top where you think that it would be. Because again, most people don't really care about what Ryan Dice finds helpful in internet marketing. Yet most marketers start off with that. What they care about is people like them that find it helpful. You know, think about where you were when you bought Celerator. I could tell you all day long that Perry Marshall, multi-million dollar, multi-millionaire internet marketer got uses this, but would you care? <laughs> I mean, you might say, well, yeah, it might work for him because he's like freaking genius, right? And he is. But when I put it here, it's the push over the edge. It's a totally different psychological mindset. And I've seen people skip this section. Oh man, this section right here, putting it here, will bump your conversion. I've seen it like double conversion, so just be sure to do that. Action results is, this is all NLP. I, I, so you really need to go through the training here. It's very short, like this is only a minute that it tells you what to do here, it's really simple. And all it is, is immediately after you get this, I want you to go to this page. You're gonna go to this page, and tomorrow, you're going to blink, blink, blink. I'm just, I'm just pacing them into the future. Now, I'm just, all I'm doing, and, and, by, and, and by the end of this week, you're gonna go to your calendar, you're gonna do this, and this is what's going to happen. It's not, and I say this, it's not technically true future pacing. I'm not literally talking to them in, in, in present tense future is what that is in NLP. I am just taking them into the brief future and say, here's what you're going to do on day one. Here's what you're going to do on day seven. So remember overview is just what you're wanting them to remember, just what they're going to be receiving today. It's pretty simple. Just remember, you're going to be getting this. You're going to be getting this. You're going to be getting this. You're going to be getting the plan that's helped X a number of people do X. So I'm going to give you three quick reasons to take action right now. Three more reasons. And all this is is three really powerful reasons they need to take action now. Number one, probably for all you listening, the price is going to go up. You don't want to pay almost double or triple for the same thing in 72 hours. Number two, if you don't take action, you're going to be in the same place you are a week from now, a year from now. It's just very simple reasons to take, to just follow the copy examples pretty much. Smart thing is very simple. It's the only smart thing you can do. Take advantage of this offer while you still can. The button's below. As simple as it gets. Okay? So now we got into the Samurai Q&A, and I'm just going to give you a couple of examples of that, and then we're going to take your questions. I can't believe I got through this whole section in almost 50 minutes by the time I get through a Samurai Q&A, but that's because I'm talking very fast. And you guys forgive me, right? Because I had to cover a lot of stuff here. All right? Samurai Q&A is, okay, into the video, your video says, that are, hey, thanks a lot for watching, and you pause for five seconds. And you come back and you go, hey, if you're still watching, it may mean that you have some questions. And here are some of the most commonly asked questions from, from, my, from my customers and prospective customers that you might be having yourself. And you go into some pretty common questions. For example, uh, how long will it take me to see results? You know, uh, is this guaranteed to work? You just re refurbish your guarantee. Um, you know, will this work if I have blank? And again, you can go right back to the, remember when you went to the product, I said it works even if. Take the top three even if. What if I what if I am what if I'm a hypothyroid? My doctor says I can't lose weight because my thyroid is messed up. Well, this will work. This will work because weight loss isn't dependent upon the high thyroid function. You know what? So just re-emphasize what uh, what they're concerned about. Only one percent of, of weight gain is related to to being uh, is impossible to deal with with thyroid. So very very sl slim results, very slim chance. But now it gets to samurai. That's just typical Q and A. Samurai Q and A is where you go out. And you said you you pull together five of your most raving fans, and they could be your mom, dad, brother, sister, or they could be customers. Prefer them to be customers, people that have gone through your system or your service or your product, and they have seen results from it. And you ask them this question: What's the one thing that surprised you the most, shocked you the most about what you what the results that you saw with blank? Okay, and from that question. And I've done, and now I have a large list. So when I send it out from, from email, I get some crazy stories. So let me give you one that I use for a testosterone booster. This boosts male testosterone. So I go through like, how long will it take to, is it safe? You know, what will my doctor think? And then I go, you know, Bob wrote in and saying, John, my friend Steve bought your product. He bought blank product and his testosterone went so high 
he cheated on his wife. I mean, he said he couldn't, it was, he was crawling out of his skin. I mean, he was like seeing muscles sprout out of nowhere. He hadn't seen his abs in 20 years. And he just, in a moment of weakness, he cheated on his wife. I want to know if, if this is going to be so powerful that it's going to drive me to cheat on my wife because I love my wife. <laughs> now, that's a samurai Q&A, pal, because what does that completely presume? It completely presumes that this shit is so powerful that it's going it to literally drive you to adultery. I mean, now, I, the cool thing is, this I don't, I'm a big fan of marriage, a uh, big fan of not committing adultery, <laughs> duh. But uh, the cool thing about this is it, ca it came from a real story. Now, I don't think the real story is cool. But so, in other words, this is all, this is all truth. A guy took it and blamed it. He literally blamed it and said, man, I actually, I couldn't control myself. I changed my wife. And so all I had was another person ask that question. That's all I did. I had Bob ask the question that Steve gave the answer to. So he said, yeah, a guy I know named Steve or, or a guy named Steve. I heard about a guy named Steve, you know, and these guys were all in the same group. So it was easy to say, yeah, this guy I know or this guy I met or whatever. And it was, it was <laughs> do you see where this is going? Because Steve would never call in and write that, but Bob might. And it gets really samurai. It gets really stealth. So then that's the, that's one part. That's part number one. That's cool. Part number two that's cool is the answer. Because then you can actually, uh, I, I just started preaching actually to the people that uh, I'm like, look, I'm a huge fan of, of, this, of the sanctum, uh, the sanctimony of marriage. I am a big believer in that. Looks, listen, I will tell you that, yes, your testosterone probably will go up a lot. Yes, you will have greater urges. So that's why I'm telling you right now, the moment you get by this today, go and talk to your wife or your girlfriend or your significant other and say, I got something coming that's going to probably drive me crazy and you're going to have to keep up. Because I don't want you going out and cheating. So promise me right now that you're not going to do that. You know, unless you have an open marriage and then it's not cheating. But promise me that you're not going to do that. <laughs> do you see where I'm going with this? So I come off like exactly as I am, like a guy that actually you know, loves this, loves my wife and loves marriage. But also a, a, a guy, a, a real guy saying, look, just go tell him. That is a much more powerful question than 99% of the questions and answers I get. I see in sales pages and VSLs. They're lame. You know, does it come with a refund? When will I get it? You know, those are important questions, but if that's all you do, that's just not enough. When I started asking these, what I call dimensionalized, I call them samurai questions, but dimensionalized questions, I'm taking a question and building a story around it. Okay. I'm going to give you one more example. It was for a meditation product and tr the true story. <laughs> and uh, I had, had a, a lady say, um, it, actually gave her, I, I don't know, these two things both deal with sex. I, I don't mean to say that your Samurai Q&A has to do with sex. I can come up with a million examples if you want to throw them by me in the Q&A. These just happen to deal with it. So uh, the one lady wrote in and said, you know, I, I did not expect this, but I had an orgasm while listening to one of these audios. Maybe it was your voice. Maybe it was something that was said, but wow, that was a nice little surprise. So naturally, I had the other girl write, ask the question. It's like, I've heard that you can actually, you know, have a little something, something going on, you know, is that true? <laughs> and so, and so the, the, uh, the writer said, well, I would never guarantee that it was not created for that, but it is true that some people do experience. Yeah. I, you know, don't hold your breath. You see, you see how I'm phrasing that? I would never say, Oh, absolutely. That's one of the, the biggest fringe benefits unless it was. But since one person or two people said it, it's not going to be like something you're going to base a guarantee on. That's what samurai find the most like the most badass claims that you can make, and you can make those claims without making a single claim. And I'm going to I'm going to conclude tonight by by going into the claims thing. The reason I created Samurai Q and A along with my friend Ryan is that we were faced with uh, FDA and FTC regulations that said you can't make claims for stuff that works. Like for example, I was writing for a, a, a nerve product that actually worked to heal nerve to help nerve pain, and we couldn't say it helps nerve pain because the you know pharmaceuticals and the, oh, they're in control of everything. And so if you make a claim and it's a drug-based claim, i.e., painkiller or pain helper, even the FDA and FTC have a have a hissy fit. And so we got around that by having other people ask questions. So they can't get around that, you know. And say, so, in fact, you can come out and say, because look, look, this is what we did with with this other guy's offer. Said, look, you know, I've heard from a lot of guys that by taking this, they basically were able to th throw away their pain medications. I want to know if that's what you promise. And he said, no, I do not promise that at all. 
<laughs> that's it. That's it. I certainly hope that it does that for you though. And yeah, you're right. A lot of people have written in saying that, but I won't make that promise. And the FDA and FTC just can just go to hell because they just can, they just can't do anything about that. And they may change the regulations tomorrow, by the way. So if, you know, who knows? Be sure I'm not an attorney. I don't pretend to be an attorney. I'm not giving you legal advice. Check with your attorney. There you go. There's my disclaimer. Um, but that drove them nuts that you could do it that way. So we just turned that into like a fun way of like playing with this. Like, hey, what other like really awesome claims have people made about my product that I would never make myself? that I could ask in the form of a question from somebody else in that same group. So that's Samurai Q&A. Um, this section alone, I could literally sell this training for, I, I could sell it for hundreds of dollars, just this one Samurai Q&A training alone. Uh, it's that big of a conversion bump in, in people's trading, in people's video sales letters. And it works in webinars too. Just again, you know, it's easy to get carried away. What I mean, to, mean by that is you can start thinking, well, what's some insane claims that I could make and form it as a question when no one actually really said that? It's easy to do that because you kind of get into the flow of things like, oh, what else can I do? <laughs> you know, so yeah, I understand the temptation. Like I said, I've done it and I just didn't like myself afterwards. So I've done it. Um, but I go back and I want to clean this up here a little bit. And now there, you'll see a Samurai Q&A in almost every VSL I do. I, and well, in fact, in every VSL, even in written sales pages, I do it. And But we do it, we try to do it based on fact. And sometimes we'll have fun with it. Sometimes I will make something up completely out of the blue and then just, just disagree with it. And let me give you this last one as an example. I will totally make this up. I'll, I'll say, Bob, Bob asked me, or I'll just say, in one of my users, one of my crazier customers, and I'm the crazy customer. I said, one of my most crazy customers ever came up with this bizarre question. I just have to share it with you. If I get this, will you promise me that I will die a rich man? You know, and then you can say, no, I can't promise you that you're going to die. I don't want to promise you they're going to die at all. This is a terrible thing to say. I can say that, that, that you can live a lot more wealthy. Is that a better promise? And so all I did was just, I took something so absurd, you know, off the top of my head. But I was the crazy person that asked it. So there you go. That's all my tricks on Q&A. Uh, do not bypass this Q&A. Uh, and those are the six steps to the grand offer. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this. We're going to go take your questions now. Come back over to the Hangout. Stop sharing my screen. And there you go. I know you're gonna have a lot of questions here. So guys, what'd you, first of all, what'd you, did you like the training? Did you like it? Hopefully, hopefully you guys did. Um, I wanna hear some, some uh, you know, some, some gays and hoorays and, you know, no booze. <laughs> yeah. Jeff says that Q&A is ninja. No, it's not, Jeff. It's Samurai. <laughs> samurai is a trademark. Is <laughs> <laughs> That's why we called it, I called it Samurai, because ninjas, nah. Yeah, samurais come in and clean up what the ninjas can't do. Um, so, okay, thanks. Uh, hey, the Q&A stuff was awesome. Loved it, loved it. Hell yes, fantastic training. Okay, so let's get some questions. I know we're going to have a lot of them. And All right. John, um, this goes way back when you were talking about the, um, well, here it is. Question from Noah. Can you repeat that I feel absolutely comfortable part again? Yeah. I feel absolutely comfortable telling you blah, blah, blah. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I got it, yeah. yeah. Um, so the, that can, that's where you come in with the, uh, the first price, the first initial price. So it's what I call the price tease, okay? So you, the customer has no idea that, that what, what, how much anything is right now. So if I come back and I say, um, and listen, you're probably wondering how much this costs. After all, I've just told you it does this, 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 and this, and that's pretty awesome. I mean, you can elaborate on this, by the way. This is not in Accelerator, so just take this because the stuff that we were adding to it. I said, look, you know, I, if I told you that it would do half of this, would it, wouldn't it be worth hundreds of dollars? If it did just a fraction of what I told you, wouldn't it be worth, it'd still be worth like at least a hundred bucks, right? I mean, if it just helped you get start, started. Well, the good news is, is it's not. I feel totally comfortable selling this to you today for only $47. Yeah, I feel totally comfortable with it, but hang on. There's a lot more, especially, I'm gonna tell you about a really special offer I'm gonna have for you. And that's all. I'm just telling them I would feel comfortable selling it to for $47. So I never said that I sold it for $47. What I'm telling you, if you, if you come back in and you say, you know, hey, so-and-so has a retail price of X, then it should have a retail price of X. Or if it, you can say, listen, Accelerator in the past has sold for as high as $34.95, $39.95. It's true, it's true. Just make sure that it's true. Okay, next question. 
Cool. All right. So Pete threw out three questions. I'll shoot them at you one at a time. His first question was when you were talking about the bonuses. He says, yeah. would a beginner's guide about the main topic be a bad bonus? Example, XYZ beginner's guide will get you up to speed if you're a beginner, obviously, or create a solid foundation to build on if you're more advanced. Uh, no. And I'll tell you why. Again, it's com it's competing with the product. It's it's saying like it sh that should come in the product. But what you can do is change beginner's guide to m one of my favorite terms is fast track. I'm going to give you the so and so fast track. Okay, and I use this as a bonus. I say, okay, let's say that you're. Uh, I'll say every other day diet. I'm going to give you the every other day diet fast track. Okay, I know you might be in a hurry. You maybe you don't want to read 150 pages. So I distilled it into like 10 simple pages that you can get started with. Now you're still going to want to go back and reread those those pages eventually, but at least those, this will get you started in a matter of 15 minutes. That's a great bonus. That's awesome. It's the nuances that yeah. that yeah, that's all it is. Oh, um, okay, so then thank you. Um, Pete's second question. Is it better to put four testimonials in one place in the VSL or sprinkle them one at a time throughout it? If you only have four, I would sprinkle them. Um, I would do like two and then two. Um, so, yeah. But it's better okay. to have 10. <laughs> Let's see. And his last question in that section was, I've been giving lifetime updates as my super bonus, but I was thinking of using lifetime updates as an upsell for half the price of the product. Which do you think is better, super bonus or upsell? Super bonus, yeah. Um, unless it's software, um, and, and you know, software you can people. There's some software that's yearly, so yeah. If I offered an upsell, now I'd say, hey, get it a lifetime access. You know, get all the updates. Then, then I would do that. But but that's a super bonus, and that's a good super bonus too because it costs you nothing. Awesome. All right, Pete, you're taken care of with those questions. So now we're going to move on to John, uh, who spells his name like you, J. Win. That's because uh, he's, he's intelligent. He's probably he's probably very good looking as well. <laughs> His question is, uh, John, I hear that the longer the guarantee, the better the odds of making the sale. Um, mm -hmm. My concern is that I make the sale, then I pay the affiliate the 50%, then months later the customer wants a refund. Uh, so my fear is in losing thousands in refunds plus the affiliate commission. What do you think? Um, okay, a lifetime customer value. You need to know what that is. So if you have those metrics, if you have that, that KPI data, key performance indicator data, um, and you know that, you know for a fact, you've tested this in 10 different markets and cold traffic, warm traffic, and your average refund rate is, let's say it's 10%, uh, let's say that you know that. Then you can do the math and say, even if I paid this affiliate their commission, I know that I'm only gonna lose X over X period of time. Uh, that's what most people do that play the game on a high level. Um, the best way to do this if you're not there is to say to your okay your affiliates they get paid in 60 days and with clickbank it's super simple so you have a 60 day uh, that you can do now if you're like a higher up in clickbank you can you can do up to a year guarantee uh but the affiliates still get paid and you have to set that they'll still get paid within 60 days don't do that unless you know your kpi on that um and it is true that your refunds will go down in general the longer that they have to use it in general but those are based on price points of or over a thousand, over five hundred bucks. So if it's an ebook, you know, nah. <laughs> uh, if it's a supplement, it works too. If it's a supplement, they go, hey, listen, you know, we're going to give you a full year, let's say, to, to, to give us or give us our, um, uh, your money back here. Uh, the the stats that I know of, you get like ten percent greater refunds. It's not a lot, um, but you get m more sales. So the sales easily offset the refunds. So because of that, it doesn't matter that you're paying commissions that you don't earn. But you need to know you need to know um, on money that you didn't earn. But you need to know that KPI data before you make that assessment. So the other way you can do it is if they offer a sixty day money back guarantee that you just say you know like on ClickBank, hey, you got sixty full days, and that's as long as you make it, and then your affiliates aren't paid on commissions that they aren't owed. So, cool. Cool. All right, moving on to Ellen. Ellen asks, John, you said to keep testimony. You just said to keep testimonial short. But what if they're more like case studies? Mm, different story. Good question, Alan. Um, so if they're case studies, then don't present them as testimonials. Say, I'm going to give you a case study. This is a case study about a, a guy named Chet. And he went from X to Y. And he's probably a lot like you. I think you'll then you can go into a much longer testimonial. But let you would be the one giving the case study. And that's the difference. So um, like, in other words, if it's a video testimonial and you want someone to be very short, 
Uh, if you're reading it, you want it to be fairly short. Uh, if it's a case study, yeah, it's framed differently. Good question. All right, let's see. Um, George, the traditional advice for bonuses is to give something that's complementary to the main offer. Can you compare that with the presumption of future success formula you shared today, please? Uh, yeah, it's the, the, the the future success thing is obviously complimentary. For example, if, if it's if a weight loss product and I tell them how they can how they can refurbish their clothes, you know, and, and so that <laughs> it's complimentary, right? Uh, and then I say, you know, a, a, another one might be, uh, we're going to give you like a, um, uh, I mean, here's something that's really complimentary to my offer. I'm going to give you a, a fast food coupon book. And the reason why is because I'm going to, I tell you in every other day diet to go eat your favorite fast food at least once a week. So, hey, here's a coupon. <laughs> For an in and out burger. I mean, see, yeah, that's totally complimentary, right? Um, if you don't want to go that far, you can certainly do things that are complimentary. For example, every other diet, you can hey, hey, get this free. I'm going to give you the free diet calculator. So you can just enter, you, you know, it, it, this isn't true, by the way, but let's say that you just enter, enter the calorie, enter the food you eat, it instantaneously cranks out how many calories you've eaten, and so you stay on track. Uh, get the journal, get the, you know, th those are complimentary. So that works as well. Awesome. Uh, um, let's see, David, does the affiliate keep the commission when the customer gets a refund? Um, it depends on kind of what we talked about earlier, David, um, and that might have answered your question. In ClickBank, no, they don't. Uh, in, in ClickBank, the, uh, for example, and, and that honestly, you know, the affiliates used to make the argument like, hey, if I drive traffic and, and your product sucks, it shouldn't be my responsibility. There's an equally valid argument in reverse that says, hey, I created a great product and your list sucks. And the people on your list are just scavenging. You know, they're just scavengers. They're, <laughs> they're uh, scavenging. That's a new word. I, I, you know, every single one of these, I, I invent a new word, scavenging. So, so quick, somebody look that up. If that's not a word, I want to trademark it. Scavenging. Scavenging.com. Here you come. Scavenging.com. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. So there's an, there's an argument made for both sides. And ClickBank's version of that, their side on that argument is, um, is yeah. So another, uh, uh, let's say somebody sells a hundred copies of my book, um, and they still their account, their account will be you know they'll, will be debited a hundred copies of my book immediately. And if in thirty days fifty of those people refund, which would be terrible, their account will be debited that much money on the next payout that they do. So that's the way that works. All right, moving on. Fast and furious, they're coming in. Um, this question is from Scott. Can I say um, I can't guarantee you'll get the same great great results as the people you just heard from? What I can guarantee you is that if you're not completely satisfied, you'll get back every penny you spent, no questions asked, and no hard feelings. That's one of my favorite guarantees, actually. Um, what I but what I and, and honestly, that that's the most protective for you. But what I would add to that is. What I can guarantee you is that I'm giving you the same exact tools that they had to achieve the same to, to achieve this their level of success, and I can guarantee you that most of them are no different than you are. In fact, some of them started probably in a weaker position than you're starting now. So just add a little bit to it, and then it rocks. Cool. Okay, awesome. Uh, moving on to Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, John. I've studied all the top ClickBank VSLs, and most don't have a headline. What do you mm -hmm. think about this? Yeah, that's changed over the years. Uh, you know, uh, five years ago, every one of them had a headline. Today, none of them have a headline, and I think it's because they haven't tested headlines. Um, it just depends. It, it, I've seen I've seen headlines work, and I've seen uh, okay. Je Jeff Johnson and I just did a webinar about this not too long ago. In fact, it, it's in. If you guys have Traffic Pros, you, it, it used to be called Traffic Pros, it's now called Unlimited Traffic. You gotta listen or watch the video. I think it's a video. I can't remember if it's video. It might be audio that I did with Jeff Johnson, and listen to what he talks about about headlines above his video sales letters, doubling his conversions. Now I'm gonna side with Jeff on almost everything marketing because he's tested everything and he's done it a lot longer than most people have. So again, it's something you test. So it's just, it's just you know testing. That's really all I can say. Um, but it's certainly worth a test if you can double your your conversions or something. You know, here's another way of looking at it. Chances are very great that you're not going to double your conversions with nothing. 
Yeah, now not double. So your headline may drag your conversion down a little bit, but it's not probably it's not going to come in half unless your headline's terrible. Unless your headline says, "Don't ever watch this video, whatever you do." But that may work. You know, who knows? You know, this is the worst video I've ever seen. Quote. You know, <laughs> those are actually pretty good headlines. I'm going to use that. This is the worst video I've ever seen. Excuse me. <laughs> And what then, a great pattern interrupt. This would be great. This is the worst video I've ever seen in, in quote, Justin Bieber. Uh, it, almost everyone would watch it just out of spite. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's my headline answer. I hope that, I hope that, that rings true for you. Oh, no. Or, somebody looked up scounge, an unscrupulous garbage picker or dumpster driver. Really? Really? Are you kidding yeah, me? Thanks, Pete. Scounge? There is a word for scounging. Okay. Wow, I could have just thought, I could have just kept that silent to myself and you guys would have thought, man, he's got quite the vocabulary. I mean, he's a writer, so yeah, go, go figure, right? Okay, thanks, Pete. You just ruined my night. That's all right. <laughs> okay, next well, Let's see. All right, well, Pete, uh, Pete has the next question, so there okay. you go. Maybe, <laughs> maybe John's not going to answer this for you now. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I might scounge out on this one. So Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll throw it out there and see what happens. <laughs> so Pete asks, if I charge X dollars on my website <laughs> and I'm discounting in my VSL, mm -hmm. should I show a screenshot of the website with the full price or yes. just plain text <laughs> with the rest? <laughs> okay, I, whenever I answer like that, it's because why didn't I think of that? Yeah, okay, so thank you, Pete. You just, uh, on every one of these calls, I learned something. Um, you know, people say, oh, you you know, you learn by teaching, and usually that's bullshit, but <laughs> in my case, it's completely true. I, I, I really do. It's like I, I just I just taught myself a whole bunch of stuff I'd forgotten, you know, because when I go through this stuff, I haven't done live coaching on, on Accelerator's formula in years, so I went back through it. I just, I know it like the back of my hand. I went back through it. It was like adding stuff to the sequences that I know that I've added and stuff that we're going to come out in 2016 with. So you guys get the first of everything. But yes, that is a brilliant idea. Um, take a screenshot. Go, hey, I'm going to show you the shot. This is for, and just make sure that you're, you, I would do it like with like a, like a Camtasia or a ScreenFlow. Hey, here's my normal website. Here's the URL. I'm going to scroll right down. Look at the price. You know, don't go there now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah, here's the price. I'm going to give you a discount today because you found this video. And I, I like to say this. Listen, you found this video today. So you so just for you know, finders, keepers kind of thing. Make it fun. You know, it, it's it's don't make it funny, but make it fun. So great point. You guys, it's worth the whole call for that one. Oh, for a lot of this. Are you kidding? Yeah. True. All right. So let's see. Drew, question. Mm -hmm. Um I feel stuck right now. I'm in a paradigm where I feel like I need to continue on track to get coaching consultant clients mm -hmm. working to go premium fees, but I also have about 10 different other courses in my head. Mm. Would you have any advice for someone in my shoes? When you say 10 other courses, do you mean that you want to take 10 other courses or that you want to create 10 other courses and sell them? Um, as soon as he answers, I know that there's a 30 second delay, so um, we can move on to the next question, but be sure to remind me to come back to that one because I, I just want to understand it before I answer. Well, let's see. I would ask you the next question, but that was the last one. Oh, oh, too bad. Uh, okay, well, just, <laughs> just wait for your answer then. Wow, that was easy. We got, we got, I, we got through this in a, an hour and five minutes. I thought this one was going to be like a minimum hour and a half one. That's crazy. Um, I, again, guys, I'm going to keep apologizing for talking at the speed of an auctioneer, but you know, you, as you could tell, there's a whole lot going on. Um, so waiting for the um, the delay to kick back in here. So if anyone's got any other further questions, that would be awesome. Um, you know, um, uh, while we're waiting, I just want to back up to um, when you were talking to pulling out the most important thing and emphasizing it. Uh -huh. Is that can, uh, does that coincide with the one thing yeah. that you want your video sales letter to, you know, your your person, your viewer to to get that you were talking about last week? Yeah, and that that thank you for reminding me of that, Leanne. The, the, we added kind of the one thing element uh, over the past couple of, uh, past year, and so we added that to this to the training that you guys went through last week. So yes, the emphasize this would be remember this is the one the best solution in the world for that one thing. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Yeah. Thank you for that. Got it. Perfect. And yeah, also, yeah, while we're yeah. waiting, um, going back, when you're creating your USP, uh, no, 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 going back to the first week when you did the hook and headline, uh -huh. when, when people come up with that, the answers, the hooks and things like that, mm -hmm. where do you plug that into the VSL? 
Um, you plug it in, in, in multiple different places. You can plug it in as the USP. You can plug it in as the teaching element. Okay, so remember the one thing, okay? So it's like the one thing that allowed me to break through and finally lose weight was when I discovered what I call the caloric staggering principle. And that's, I'm going to, now here's three tips on how you can, em, em, you can employ this caloric staggering principle starting right now. So tip number one, you want to avoid counting, yeah, it's the same thing. So that's where I would put it in. You can put it in the headline, assuming that the, the question, I can't remember who asked it, but uh, yeah, um, uh, assuming you have a headline. Uh, but yeah, you put it in the headline and certainly, you know, talk about it throughout the whole BSL. Perfect. So you're always referring back to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, we got a bunch of other questions in. Yep. So, got uh, it. I think, oh, Drew, let me answer Drew's question because he's, I want to create 10 other courses. Members. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, Drew, my, my, my heartfelt advice for you there is to, uh, to ask your, your users or ask your members or ask your friends. Uh, which is the which do they think vote on the number one? What's the one thing that they would want the most and forget the other nine for now if you really want to create something create one at a time And that's hard to do. I understand that um, and as you're creating that you can still build your consulting practice. So Okay, cool. So uh, next question right. next is um, Jeff's is off-topic question. Does every other day, day diet still sell and are you still selling it? <laughs> yeah, it's funny um, uh, yeah, this this is gonna this is gonna go down, this is gonna go down as the ultimate the cobbler son have no shoes thing. Um, does it? Yeah, but you kind of have to find it. And people, <laughs> I haven't promoted it in four years, um, something like that. And the reason why is not because it's not a great book. It is. Uh, it's it, it certainly was really successful and kind of had a burnout phase. Um, it's because I shortened it and changed it to the four day diet, and now it's the four day thyroid diet, and I'm about to release that. So. That's the short story of why it's not online. Oh, it is online. You can still find it. In fact, you can find one of the oldest VSLs ever for that. I haven't updated that VSL ever. Uh, I think it's at johnbensonfitness.com, and you can look under products. You know, I, I honestly, that, that's how little I do in my own fitness program right now. I, I do. I monetize my list or other means, and, um, and I, have other, I actually have somebody else doing it, and I focus all my energies on what we're doing here, um, but uh, at least most, not all my energies, but most, so. But thanks for asking. Uh, in every webinar that I do, when I mention that, people want to buy the book, and somebody goes out and finds it. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, um, it's a good book. It's, it, it's, I, I was actually, you know, I was, I've been really, really proud of, of three books I've written, uh, and I'm saying I, I was, I like the other ones, but I was really proud of three of them: a Fit Over Forty, Every Other Day Diet, and Open Click Buy. Open Click Buy is my email book. I'm, I'm probably the most proud of that one simply because it's the funniest. But um, <laughs> Fit Over Forty because it took the most amount of work, but. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's that's open click buy is my favorite because I get I can just I, I take the gloves off. It's completely R rated. Well, it's not completely R rated. It just has a few swear words in it, but it's it's funny. And if you like Justin Bieber, you'll hate it because he's he's my personal bit. He's my whipping post. He, he's my he is my kicking bag, and throughout that whole bit. Oh, poor Justin. Here's a hint. Uh, I don't like Justin Bieber. I know that I probably didn't give that away, but you know. Okay, next question. <laughs> next question is from Noah. Noah, John, people literally have won the lottery after using my program. How would I phrase that for my Samurai Q and A? Actually, that one's a that one's a good one, Noah. If that's true. You, you can say again. So let's say that Jeff won the lottery, and and Tom can write in and say, Noah, is it true that a guy named Jeff really won the lottery after taking? And you can say, Yep, it's actually true. It's actually true. Here's a picture of him holding up his lottery tickets. Now, am I saying you're going to win the lottery? No. I'm just saying it's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> that's how I would do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay. Um, awesome. So that is that. Um, question from John, J1. Mm -hmm. My service offers three different packages, good, better, best. How do you present that within the VSL? There's actually um, um, a bonus training section on how to do that, but it, the the short story is, is is very simple. You say look below this video now and choose the package that's right for you. You don't give the price inside the VSL, and so here's how you do it. Um, you go to you just say look below this video now. Uh, you'll see three different payment options. Choose the one that fit, that's right for you. And if most if you want to sell one more, you say most people offer the 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 gold program because it gives you this that or the other. That's really all there is to that. But don't put the prices in your VSL because you may change it and you may do a sell. And that way you don't have to worry about it. Okay, next question. I think. Cool. Uh, All right, Sharon. Sharon says, I've done my first VSL. Where should I trim it? It's too long, in her opinion. 
runs close to two hours. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, don't forget Dr. J's question. Uh, it's, it nope, wasn't okay. a question, yep. so I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't catch it either. Um, but if it's okay with you, I'll go into it briefly after I answer this question. Uh, okay. So the, uh, I'm going to go back to the, uh, oh yeah, the two hours. Oh wow. Two hours. Um, that is, that's pretty long, Sharon. You must have done a, quite a bit of writing there. Um, because the average VSL in, in accelerator is about 45 minutes. Um, so, but that being said, too long, there's no such thing. Uh, what you want to think about is, is it, is it too interesting? If it's too interesting, then two hours is nothing, right? Um, if it's not interesting enough, then then yeah, two, two hours could be bad. Also, here's the here's what you want to focus on. You want your buy button to drop between 18 and 26 minutes. Now that's on average. If it's a high price ticket item, it could drop at 35, 38 minutes. Okay. But that's what you want to think about. So everything after that buy button drops is almost ir irrelevant for time. So what you want to focus on, and I get asked a lot, is how long should my VSL be? It's really how long should I go until I tell them how much to pay? That's really the question. And the second question is how, how interesting should it be? So hopefully that helps you out a little bit to see if you can get the, 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 the time that where they actually ask for money down to, depending on your price point, no more than 35 minutes. I've seen, by the way, buy, buy buttons drop at like 15 minutes, but it's like it's expensive stuff, like 997 bucks or something. And it's also very interesting. The VSL is very interesting. So, uh, yes. All right, so now you were going to address the VSL versus webinar. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, they, thank you. I was going to forget it again, Doctor J. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So, so the one thing I mentioned last week: the difference in bonuses. What we don't do in video sales letters, only because a we're trying to keep them. We don't want to go end up with you know Sharon had a long VSL, and b that's not as necessary to do is called order stacking or called just called excuse me value stacking and value stacking is just where you say the product is i'm going to use round numbers so i can do this in my head okay you you get the you get this xyz product for fifty dollars and it comes with this bonus blah 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 and the bonus is worth fifty dollars and instead of going to and it also comes with this bonus and that's worth fifty dollars and also comes with this bonus that's worth fifty dollars so that's a total of two hundred dollars but you're going to get it all for fifty bucks stacking is so once it was 50 bucks, and it's also gonna come with this bonus that's worth $50. Stacking is where you show a slide, you go, now, I wanna show you the value here. Right now, you've already got the re retail price of this was 100 bucks, that's what the retail price is. Then you're gonna get this $50 bonus, so already we're at $150 in retail value. But we're not done yet. And then you give a testimonial, by the way, after that. I like to get, hey, here's a testimonial, this guy loved this bonus, and he said the bonus was worth the whole course. Now I'm gonna to go to this next bonus, and that's worth 50 bucks. Then you show them another slide, now you stack it all together. Now we're all, all the way up to 150 bucks and we're still going. You know, that's or, that's called value stacking. That's one of the biggest difference in closing on a webinar in a video sales letter. And the other difference is participation. On a webinar, you can say, you know, um, so I'm gonna give you this bonus for 50 bucks. I, I, just type yes in the chat box right now. Would you love to do blank? Wouldn't it be great that as soon as you get the get a hold of whatever my product is, as soon as you get a hold of the every the other day diet, wouldn't you love to plan a trip to a, to your favorite junk food restaurant and know that it would help you lose weight? How say yes if that appeals to you? So this is see the difference in the close is obviously one is participatory, right? So that's a that's another big difference in the webinar closes. Um, another difference in webinar closes is you can go longer. Um, again, it's you can go longer with pitching the, pitching that hey, it's, it's here's the price, buy it right now. The buttons on the screen because it's live because it's when you're doing that live and it's got that feeling and people and you're saying hey, look, Jeff's got in and Scott got in and Cheryl got in. Hey, thanks, congratulations. You can go on forever. You can go on a lot longer. Those are the biggest differences in the pitches. Now that being said, Noah. Noah, if you're still on here, I believe it's the same Noah because I only know one. Um, oh, well, I know two, but a long time. <laughs> He's kind of old, had a big boat, um, but uh, <laughs> um, not around anymore. Um, but then, I actually know a couple of Noahs. I'm just kidding with you, Noah. Um, but I did a I did an interview with Noah the other day, and Noah has a webinar, and he used Celerator for the webinar. And just text me if this is correct here, if you're still on. And it doubled his conversions from his existing webinar. So that's using 3x VSL pretty much as is. So what I'm saying is, that I just know that webinars can be even more improved when you do it this way. Um, so yeah, hopefully that answered the question. Um, <laughs> Dr. J also asks, um, and I'm not sure I understand this, but I'll ask it as he wrote it. Yes. So when you say someone wrote in and asked in your VSL, 
Are you referring to the right-hand column of the screen and you literally have people write the questions in? Okay, Dr. J, you're still on, you're, you're in webinar land. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm not referring to that. In, in a video sales letter, I'm talking about like, you've got testimonials from your customers. Um, and so if, if a guy named Bob wrote in and saying, hey, John, how fast will I see results? And I'll say, you know, Bob asked, Bob from Dallas, Texas asked, you know, how fast will I see results? So, so that's what, what it is. Now, in going back to the webinar format, if you're on a webinar and we're doing questions right now, I'll give you a great example of this. Um, uh, so, hey, listen, you know, uh, Sharon just asked, you know, her video sales letter is close to two hours long. Uh, what do I do? Well, here's the answer to that. Then, yes, I'd be looking at the, in my case, the right side of the screen, looking at the questions and asking them live. But no, this is like in reference to people writing in questions to you or into a focus group like what we do. So we'll send out a focus group either by email or by a, you know, a literal group and say, hey, what's the coolest testimonial that you can give me for this product? And then make them into questions. So um, I see a question from Jeff. What is the average conversion rate to cold traffic? There, there is no average conversion rate at all uh, for anything ever. Uh, it, it, that's that's dependent upon a million factors. Uh, where you bought the traffic, what the topic is, is the topic desirable? Uh, what's the offer? I go. I don't, it, there isn't one. Um, what I will tell you is that a lot of guys making a lot of money are running to video sales letters. Uh, uh, in fact, the majority of people I know making big dollars online are running to video sales letters. Uh, at least in the, in the the biggest industry industries online. I mean, you've got you know weight loss, fitness, dieting, relationships, uh, dating, rather. Um, you know, supplements, things like that. Um, Biotrust is almost all video sales that are driven. For example, they're, you know, I think they're 250 million now or something like that. They're, they're large company. Um, so their conversion rates, but they don't try to go to cold traffic as much as they go to war they go to list traffic. So uh, other companies there, I've got many clients that go to cold traffic and, you know, they're not as concerned about conversion numbers as they are about uh, what their, you know, their ROI numbers are. So if they spend a buck, they want to make a buck 20, a buck 30, a buck 50. Um, I, I know guys that are spending a buck and making three bucks. Crazy, crazy. Well, they got just got a, they've got a killer letter and a killer offer. Everything. Um, oh, by the way, yes, Jeff. Uh, thank you for reminding me. The magic. Yes, stack is magic on webinars. I learned that from Russell Brunson. Uh, yes, I, I didn't learn it from Russell, but I was reminded of it by Russell when I went through his course. But yeah, uh, he that is exactly right. Uh, Russell's course is awesome, by the way. So, okay. So hopefully that. Hey, answers um, so. John, Oh, go ahead. One, one more question. Um, uh, do you send cold traffic, Facebook traffic to a VSL offer? Uh, so that's a, that's a difficult question to answer. Th I know there are some people that have managed to get a direct to VSL offer working with Facebook compliance. It's not conversion that you're worried about. It's compliance. Um, it depends on who you are and who your rep is and all that stuff. Um, there's the best way to do it is to send them to a quiz and then deliver them to uh, an offer. And I like lead quizzes. Um, my friend Jeremy owns a company. Uh, they've done a fantastic job at getting me leads. Um, highly recommend. We're doing a webinar, I think, in two weeks with them. So stick around because you'll get my buddy price for it. Um, uh, it's cheap too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're really good at what they do. Um, really, really good. So, so I recommend quizzes work great. And they still work great right now. So until they stop working, um, I would use them. And Facebook loves quizzes because they love interaction. Um, you can also send what's called a lander page. Uh, you can send to an article. That's what um, we do for uh, quite a few offers. Uh, all the all the guy, the metabolic guys, natural health Sherpa. We send to land. We send to various landers. Um, you know, kind of, st I started that thing with I had a. An, it looked like an article page. I didn't start article advertising, but I, this one wasn't. Didn't look like an article. Like it was. That wasn't the, the purpose. It was the whole five steps to doing something. Uh, lead quizzes is what it's called. Um, Jeremy Ellens, his guys. So yeah, lead quizzes. Um, so uh, do you have a link? For, if you don't, uh, if you if you use their stock link, you'll pay more money. I think he's he's giving my guys a deal. So uh, you, it's true. I make an affiliate commission, but uh, you all, you also save money. So if if you don't save any money, then you can buy it right now. Buy it from them. It's not it's not it's not a, an expensive thing. But but I think he's going to offer something where he actually works with certain people. If you order, I, I, that was what he talked about doing it earlier. Um, and having them work with you is very advantageous. Um, so yeah. All right, cool. Well, I think we had a great night here, Leah. I think we covered most everybody here at questions, uh, and we made almost made up a word and we definitely got a lot of cool, got a lot of cool tips. So I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, this, the, the last of the training sessions. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it for the night. I am going to go rest my throat. Uh, you guys just go to work. 
put this stuff together and don't quit, man. That's the big thing. Don't quit. Awesome. Thank you again, guys. Thank you, Leanne. Really a big hand for Leanne hosting. She's done a great job. Everybody say thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Leanne. Um, and I appreciate you guys. 